Microsoft released Windows XP in 2001, over a decade ago. Since then, the operating system has become an integral part of the tech and business worlds, running everything from work computers to bank ATMs. But as of April 8, 2014, Microsoft has cut all official support for Windows XP. No more security patches, no more updates. But you just shouldn't be surprised, at least according to Microsoft. Windows XP was a very popular operating system. It was used at the time. It was the most popular operating system ever. I think it's been surpassed by Windows 7 since that time. Um, so, you know, it was a well-designed, well-built, well-engineered uh, operating system. But it was also launched 12 years ago. Um, and so 12 years is quite a long time, but 12 years in terms of technology is like a lifetime ago. During those 12 years, Microsoft released three more full operating systems, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8. XP shutdown was in the cards. So we announced uh, end of support for Windows XP, the, the extended end of support for Windows XP, back in September 2007. So this is something that we've been planning for a long, long time. Given the long lifespan for Windows XP, you might assume that much like other tech products, the operating system has all the kinks ironed out by now. John Callis, CTO of Silent Circle and one of the minds behind Blackphone, a privacy and security for a smartphone, explained that XP's age guarantees nothing. Oh, I would say that even more so, there's more to exploit on it because there, that there's, there's unknown things. The design of the kernel is not built for um, modern threats and everything. I mean, you wouldn't want to be running a version of any other operating system that dated back to, to 2002. So you'd think that any businesses mildly interested in security would have made the switch already. Which is why the revelation by Bloomberg Businessweek that 95% of ATMs still run Windows XP caused such a panic. Jordan Edelson is the CEO of Appetizer Mobile, a company that develops and builds mobile applications. Before that, though, he developed various pieces of software and programs. Big specifically, you know, we'll have to upgrade uh, the operating systems uh, in the future. If they don't, they could be more susceptible to different vulnerabilities and attacks, uh, more so localized attacks, so someone directly accessing the ATM itself. But Windows 7 has been around for five years now. Why did it take so long? I think that they don't want to go through the, through the upgrade. In, in an embedded device, I mean, for example, like an ATM, there's a lot of trouble that you're going to have. It's not like a machine that you are doing email and word processing on. Those are relatively easy things. And if you bought a new one, you would have gotten uh, a new operating system on it anyway. Microsoft is offering continued support to major customers who are upgrading their hardware. Representatives from a group of major banks confirmed that they purchased extended support from Microsoft and they will upgrade all of their ATMs before that service ends. But where does that leave individuals and smaller companies? Normal users aren't quite so fortunate. While many offices have made the leap to Windows 7 already, much of the world's computer infrastructure still relies on Windows XP. Those enterprises who, whether from lack of funds or lack of desire to spend said funds, have stayed in their ways. But for how long? The turning point for a lot of businesses might be where, again, they get attacked and then they have to react. And that's been traditionally a lot of the way you know corporate america has been working and, and even individuals it's kind of like until something actually happens um, that's when they react before that people just typically don't care a lot about uh, patching that type of stuff when pressed on whether microsoft would intervene in the case of a major attack murphy was ambivalent we will provide temporary custom support for large customers who are completing migrations but there won't be any uh, further updates to windows xp so again that's why our guidance is that people need to make the move